And when I was writing it, I set myself this exercise uh, to write a poem that only I could write. And this is what I came up with. It's called, I Know Why the Crosswalk Glitters. And it was inspired by a car accident that happened right in front of me. And some cigarettes I found in an elevator. <laughs> When form fits function, your knees to heart in the back of a public elevator, crying your way through two tissues and most of a cigarette. When expression fits language, you are complaining how nobody looks up anymore, knowing they never did to begin with. And then you yawn at the future for dropping the heaviness of eternity on you without ever letting out of its hand the lightness of sleep. When coincidence sparks connection, put on the yellow headband you never wear and wonder if it somehow caused the car accident that happened right in front of you when the pale green Prius did stop for you, but the silver SUV right behind it didn't. And the ladder slammed into the former, shooting the Prius through the crosswalk and onto the median inches away. I was the only one who could have died. Hearing the rumble, I think about the recently increasing prevalence of skateboards as a primary transportation for adults. When all I want is a sourdough pretzel. <laughs> For these lines to still be in my mind instead of lingering on the tip of my tongue when I get home, teasing. But this? This is a land ho sense of evening, a crow's nest moment. It's there, they're always there. The little things that make up the pores of a person, filling memory holes like bees fill a honeycomb. The sweetness and strangeness you live on. Like, when you pass a cop car and realize you're already going the speed limit. <laughs> or when you barely recognize the hair, but the eyes are still the same. Incitements to notice what you don't usually connect. Cherish the first day each year you don't need a coat. As you check the cars in the lot in the same way you used to glance askance at cafeteria tables for that crush you may have hidden too well. Please. Let me be your bookcase, the ex libris of your ideas, stacked and organized, fitting together and disappearing the lines of your Tetris, illuminating your margins like we lived long ago and far away and you were very rich and we were sentenced together, bound by a name. Read me. First the page, then the squire, then the night you transfixed me with that shaggy trim, nothing that happens to the rest of everything I know how to perceive when our bodies hinge inward and our faces get gravity pull close. Stop. Your flavors blend smooth, but you're frozen solid. Memories like ice, like time. Stop. You're cold and I don't have to keep you. Stop. The window is open, but the candle flames are still. Stop. The bath has claws, but mauls nothing. 